Dr. Bella, welcome to Bella and Jeanette. I'm Christina, and I'm so glad that you're here with me today. If you're new, welcome in. If you're returning, welcome back. No matter how long you've been here, I always appreciate your time. I am, uh, you'll see this outfit again. I filmed a previous video, but it hasn't come out yet. It's going to come out after this video, but in it also, um, don't know what's going on with this. I don't know, but it is bugging me. I think it's because I tuck my hair behind my glasses so often that it gets all crooked. I don't know. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I am glad that you're all here with me today. And anyone who's new, welcome in. Um, I'm so glad that you're here. If you're returning, as I said, welcome back. Um, I am so excited to bring you this video um, that I'm going to talk about. Um, you can tell from the uh, thumbnail that it is a uh, place in Sicily. And it is not too far from me, actually. From my house, it would probably be about an hour and a half. Um, yeah, it'd be about an hour and a half. So, because it took me 20 minutes, 25 minutes to get to my friend's house. And from there, it took us about an hour. So, yeah, it'd be about an hour and a half from, from here. And um, I did not know that it was even there until I saw a post on... Uh, one of the Facebook groups about it and I was like oh that sounds fun and then my a friend of mine and I were talking and she was like well, let's go do something this coming weekend and I was like all right cool just let me know what you have in mind and she was like well I was thinking about this post that I saw and I was like is it the the park and she was like yeah and she I did not know this until um after and maybe she said it and I didn't hear her but I didn't know that she had already been, but she was going back with, with my daughter and I. So it was her and her daughter and myself and Sparkle. So we went, uh, and where did we go? We went to Neapolis Archaeological Park. Um, just, just one second. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Took me a minute. Um, I wanted to grab something, and then my daughter needed something. So one of the things that I... Um, got while I was there was uh, like a guidebook. So we went um, during President's Day weekend. So for us, it was a long weekend. And uh, so we went on Sunday because we had Monday off. And the park was open until 1.45 on Sunday, but the ticket office closes earlier than that. So you can get an audio guide but the audio guide has to be returned before the ticket office closes. And we didn't we didn't want to have to be back at a certain time, um, especially because it was like over an hour before the park actually closed that we had to be back for the, um, the ticket booth. So we were like, no, no, no. And so my friend bought this, this guidebook, right? Uh, and I was like, oh, that's so cool. And um, she was looking through hers while we were walking around. And I was like, well, I'll just wait because I had a water bottle in my backpack. And I was like, I don't want to open it and then um, destroy it. Because my daughter and I were putting the water bottles back in and out. And sometimes you don't close things well. So anyway, I was trying to look and see when the park um, actually became a park. So there was one man, and I want to say his name was Luigi, but it could have been Luis. I don't remember. Um, anyway, this man uh, pushed and pushed and pushed 
for this area to be kept as a um, archaeological site so as something that could be studied and um, things like that so he um, sorry I was just trying to look and see if I can find his name um, okay, yes, Luigi Bernabo Brea um, was um, one, one who pushed for um, the the, the place to remain an archaeological site uh, and because of his because of his actions I mean he was a, a rather important figure mind you so he had the ability to to, to push for that but he um, pushed for it and so now it is an archaeological site so there are so many things here um, as you walk in the first thing that you come to is um, part of the uh, entrance way and um, there's like a church we, we couldn't go in the church it was closed uh, but you could see um, that and you can see that it was a church, number one, but you could see these like little cavern things. And I'm going to show some pictures in a little bit, um, but you could see those. Uh, and then there was a museum also that has like statues and figures and things, and that was also closed. So some of those things are only open Tuesday through Saturday, but the rest of the park is open um, seven days a week, different times, but seven days a week. So, um, when you the other thing the first thing that you see after that is on the left hand side there's an entrance to a cafe but it's also the entrance to see the Roman amphitheater and that is just phenomenal uh, and then you keep going and then there is the temple no the altar of Hieron um, Hieron the second um, It's his altar uh, dedicated to Zeus. And then as you go through, um, you have the um, quarry. So it's a stone quarry um, that they used, the Greeks used um, to get, get their stones. Uh, and then you have uh, the Ear of Dionysus, which is a cavern. And it says that uh, it was in the quarry and Dionysus um, was the ruler. Not, it's not talking about the god of wine, Dionysus. It's talking about an actual ruler. And he would keep prisoners in there. And as... Dionysus could hear because there's a hole at the top of the um, there's a hole at the top where he could supposedly hear and he would he would kill or maim or whatever anyone who was talking bad about him um, there is supposedly the tomb of Archimedes it was also um, closed we couldn't get to that area uh, and then you also had the Greek theater, which is um, in much better condition. So we started out, the way that you'll see the pictures showing up is we went through like the quarry area, area the quarry area first, and then we went to the cave of Dionysus, 
and or the ear of Dionysus, and then we went um, through the altar, and then through, no, I lied. We went to the quarry, the ear of Dionysus, then the theater, the Greek theater, then the altar, then the Roman theater. So even though when you walk through the Roman theater is the first thing that you would see as you're walking in, that's the last thing that you're going to see from me as far as pictures go. So you're going to see the quarry first, then um, there's some caves and things there, but then there's also the ear of Dionysus. Then we went to the Greek theater, then the altar of Hieron to Zeus, and then the Roman theater. And then finally, there's also a place here where you can um, see the flamingos migrating on their way to Africa. They stop in Sicily. And uh, we thought we were on our way there. Turns out we weren't. It's a little bit farther away um, in Noto, uh, which we'll still plan to get there at some point. I think both of our girls would really, really love that. But uh, we did find a beach. <laughs> and so in cold, cold February, right, the girls were playing in the sand and we were looking for sea glass and seashells and the water was just beautiful. It was really cold, but it was beautiful. We didn't get, I mean, I touched the water, but I didn't get in the water. The girls were dying to get in the water and we were like, no, no, no. We were not prepared for this, but we did not bring towels and blankets and extra clothes and things. So they did get their shoes and, and feet and stuff a little wet, which is fine. But they wanted to jump in and we were like, no, no, no. So anyway, I do hope that you enjoy the pictures. I'm sorry that this intro has been a little long. Um, and I will try to put uh, markers in the video so that you know where you are. Uh, so if there's something you want to look up, and I'll put a link as well in the description box for the park. So if there's anything else you want to read about it, you are certainly welcome to. So I hope that you enjoy the pictures, and I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below. Um, someone said that they uh, liked it better when I talked, um, but I don't want to talk during the pictures. I, I will do the intro up front. Um, and then give you give you the pictures. So I do hope that you enjoy um, all of them. Or maybe I'll put the pictures in. No, I'm not going to put the pictures in because I've talked about different orders of things and then you'll get confused. So the pictures will be after this. So um, I hope you stick around and I hope that you enjoy them. I hope that you are well and safe. And as always, be the change you wish to see in the world.